Okay, we're going to be looking at how to play Beautiful Brown Eyes in the Alfred or the Adult All-in-One course by Alfred's Basic Adult Piano Course Level 1. We're on page 65. We're going to be in key of G. I'm going to keep my hands a little flatter so you can see what my finger's doing. But normally I would be playing with curved fingers, but just with this camera and you can't see it that well. All right, so in our left hand we have the one chord, which is a G. And at the top of the page, it runs through this. And you also have a G um, broken chord. And in this case, it plays the root and then the upper. Um, but it's going to have the pedal on, so it won't sound quite as, as choppy as it does like that. We also have a C chord. Which is G, C, and E, because this is the second version. And then we have also a D7 chord, which is D, F sharp, no A, and C sharp. This is our 5, 7 in the key of G. So we're going to look at the left hand only for Beautiful Brown Eyes, page 65. So you can play along with this um, as you read the music. One, two, three, ready, set, go. One, two, three, one, two, three. C chord with the pedal, then back to the G chord. Two, three, one, two. Here comes a D7, broken. Back to the G. Two, three, one, two, three. C chord, straight into a D7, two, three, one. Here comes a G chord broken. And you can play that as many times as you need to. Go back to that part. I'm gonna look now at the right hand where I have the melody. I'm gonna make sure that we're playing the right hand stronger than the left hand, which is gonna be difficult, or at least take some focus because we have so many more notes in the left hand. And we have at the beginning, So we never leave these five keys, <clears throat> G, A, B, C, D, for the entirety of the song. And the part that gives most everyone the problem is we're looking here at the end of the first line. When we go to the C chord, because we have this happening together, and then this, and our left hand continues to play on the beat. If this was just a blocked C chord, that wouldn't be so much problem. But this is where most of my students are having trouble. It happens here and here, so we're going to isolate that, looking at measures three and four of line one, which is the same as measures three and four of line three. So we've got a C chord that's broken. One, two, three, one, two, three. And I'm not gonna play with, with a pedal just right now, just for clarity. So we have that C. If I just played that C and held it for six counts, it would be easy to play the whole thing. And that might be the first step. Once you can play this, to add that second beat here. So we've got one, two. Looking just at the isolated measure three. We've got a G and C, C and E and C. And then beat three. So here's beat one, beat two, and beat three. One more time, see if you can play it with me. Ready, set, and go. One, two, three. Ha, <laughs> my thumb came off right there. Let's try that one more time because I messed up. Ready, set, and go. One, two, three. Now for the next measure, you're just gonna hold this one 
with your fourth finger here. I've got a bad finger position, so you can, but just so you can see. And we do this again. All right, so here's measures three and four, slowly. Ready, set, and go. Again, set, and go. Now the first line in entirety without the pedal. Again, ready, set, and go. Once you get that down, you can go on to the whole song. Thank <clears throat> you.